welcome back to the channel everybody. It's Pocket Rocket Garage and we're back again for another video on the Classic Mini. If you haven't found the channel before, take a look at some of the previous videos and you see where I've got to working on this rusty Rover. Now it's been such a long time since I've been in the garage, I can't remember where I got to on the previous video. So let's have a quick think. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's right, yeah, I was removing more rust. What a surprise. Well, in today's video, we're gonna get as much welding done as possible. Firstly, I've actually got to create a repair section from a repair panel that I've purchased. Let's get going. I'm using a bit of wood and the battery box just to prop up the repair section. It is now giving it a nice tight fit underneath the cross member. You can see it fits really nicely. All I've got to do now is uh, go around it with a black Sharpie and then I can trim it as best I can so I get a nice tight fit. The repair section is cut, it's in place, and it did take a fair amount of time, but it is still the same day, I promise. I'll spin the camera around now and you can see where I'm at. Another repair panel that unfortunately, yeah, I'm gonna cut it up as I usually do. I'm gonna turn this into a smaller repair section and I'm gonna try and splice that into the original door set that I've got and then stitch in the rear quarter. I'm not sure how it's gonna go. Uh, most people would weld the whole thing in, but I like to do things differently. So let's see how we get on. I quite like the two-tone look, what do you think? This is the repair section that I've cut down in position. I've clamped it as best I can with my eBay clamps that are really awful. Um, and you can see it's got a lovely profile to it. The main concern is this area here. I've already done a little bit of hammering work just to get it to fold round the contour. The rest of the contour was so awful, that is one of the reasons that I went down this route rather than replacing the doorstep because of all of these profiles here and contours, I just didn't want the hassle trying to get that to be nice and level and smooth. Anyway, this is what I've done. I've got to carry on with it now, so let's get going cutting the old area away. Here's the repair section all in place now and it fits really nicely. There's a small amount of work to do as we move up on this tiny bit of the door set with the profile there. And that's one of the reasons why I didn't want to try and do all of this section because 
just this bit alone, uh, you can see it's gonna be a little bit difficult to get that profile correct. Uh, and then onto the rear quarter, nice easy straight cut, and so that'll be nice and easy to join. Have got to weld carefully there, I don't wanna distort the panel, but all in all, for myself, this was definitely the right decision than replacing the whole door step. So, gonna get the paint prepped now, get that removed, and then we'll get onto the welding. I completely forgot to show you my new welding helmet. Now, I purchased this Artec welding. Um, it's an Artec XL V2 auto darkening and it's got grinding mode on it. Now, they don't sponsor the channel, but honestly, it's fantastic. I wish I'd got one a lot earlier because it's so much easier to do the welding and, you know, it's just a fantastic bit of equipment. The other thing about the welding helmet is it looks so good and it's almost the same colour as the Classic Mini. Um, I'll show you what I mean by that, because everyone that's seen it has said uh, how much they like it. <laughs> See what I mean? The reaction is crazy. Right, back to the serious stuff. Um, you can see the repair lips in place. Lots of welds, all spaced apart to keep down the heat and distortion. Uh, the same on the rear quarter. I've um, done a little bit of fettling here and there. Couldn't resist having a go at this section with the grinder and the finger sander. Now, if you've watched previous videos, you will have noticed the welding has improved a huge amount. That's because of this bad boy. This uh, new earth clamp was a complete problem in previous videos, and I just kept welding away knowing something was severely wrong, thinking it was, you know, the welder or it would go away, but it didn't. And a few of the friends said, you know, your earth clamp looks like it needs changing. So got a brand new one from United Welding in Peterborough. They put a new lead on it all the way with this DINs connector. That was already included, it came through the post. All I had to do was cut the cable of the old one and put this section onto this cable and literally connect them together and the results speak for themselves. I mean, it's such a game changer. Uh, the rear quarter is almost finished. I've been using a fan to cool it down in between welds. So I'll bring it back in when I've um, started grinding and fettling it all in, making it look really smooth. Just a tiny bit of work on this area and this whole repair section is finished. I am so pleased how it's turned out. If you like the look of this and if you're enjoying the content on the channel, please click that subscribe button. It makes all the difference and gets me out here to keep going on the mini. I'm gonna carry on now and then I'm gonna grab the camera and bring you in so you can see a close up of the finished work. 
just a small amount of hammer and dolly work. Now you can have a look. As promised, I did say I'd show you a close up of the repair section once complete. I hope you're enjoying the content of this mini build. Um, I'm really pleased with this repair section, how it's turned out. Let me know in the comments what you think. Now I'm really keen to see how the outer seal looks in place. So I'm just gonna put it in position now. Wow, it actually looks like a real mini. Um, and before I go any further, a big thank you to Tony Bell who purchased a set of um, super light wheels from me. They've been in the garage for a while. They're not the route I'm gonna take with this mini. Uh, he doesn't realize they're stolen. <laughs> no, that was a joke, they're not stolen. But send a picture in Tony to me and I'll put it on the channel because I bet they're gonna look amazing on your car. And big news in, we've just hit 1,000 subscribers, which is huge news. So all I can say is a big thank you to all you viewers because you make the channel. And um, if it wasn't for you guys and girls, I wouldn't be out here doing these videos. And I do genuinely still enjoy doing them. So I hope you're watching and I hope you're enjoying the, the sense of humor and the funny sections and all the videos I've put together so far. A big shout out to Classic Mini Workshop, Simpsons Classics, um, everybody on YouTube that's helped me, Instagram, you know who you are, I meet you at the car shows, we chat and just, you know, the whole scene really, it, it helps me get back out here and do the work. Uh, Tomo's Tune Ups, they're a, a YouTube channel down under, so give, give Tomo a like. Um, and really, you know, Mark Draper, massive help with the welding, huge welding knowledge, tips and uh, welding advice, so big thank you to you, Mark. Now in the next video from Pocket Rocket Garage, I'm gonna be doing a t-shirt competition. All you've gotta do is comment on that video to be in for a chance of winning it. So stay tuned for that one, and I'll see you then.